everybody. My, my first guest, of course, is an Academy Award-nominated actor who has starred in numerous films, including Schindler's List, Rob Roy, and Gangs of New York. You can now see him in the new film, Kinsey, for which he received a Golden Globe nomination. I think this happened just yesterday. Uh, please welcome Liam Neeson. <laughs> I'm cheating. I have. Gone and I'm sorry. Yes. It's a good Irish Catholic. Bouncing baby Jesus on a bunny. I know, I know. Everlasting I... fire, mate. <laughs> I know. I'm... I sing a song called I'm Gonna Go to Hell When I Die, and uh, it's sweeping the nation. Uh, okay. It's not good. It's not good at all. You, I always forget. I've, I've run into you a few times. You're I'm usually at the fights. That's right. We actually, Masters I went Square and saw, Gun. yeah, a prize fight at Madison Square Garden. We ran into each other, That's and, right. and I'm. Years I'm ago, but... Six four. You must be six four. Five. I'm six four and a wee bit. Right. Perfect. Right. Why? Well, that's why I have the. I'm eight inches of my height. Is this right here? I wish I had that. There's mayonnaise. I, I can rent it out for occasions. Um, <laughs> it's great to have you on the show. I want to ask you something gone. first Thank before you. we get started on all the other questions. And just as a, as an Irishman, I want to ask you. I grew up 100% Irish family, right. hearing all these crazy expressions, right. and I don't even know what they mean. Yes. And I guess they've been handed down. And my mother, when we were when we were misbehaved as kids used to say, you better behave, stop being a bold stump. And I was like, what the hell are you talking about? Do you know what bold stump means? Have you ever heard it in Ireland? I swear I haven't. You haven't bold. heard it? Like B-O-L-D as B -O -L -D, bold. B-O-L-D, you're being a bold stump. Right. bold, I know. Yeah, bold you're being bold, bold being but stump. Stump. Yeah. Stump. Yeah, stump. I have no, no idea. And so I'm under the impression that I she's don't. just making them up. <laughs> like, stop it, you're being stump. a, you know, a corn-crusted pirate. And would be like... Did you make that up? No, that goes way back to the old country. Right, right. But right, there are right. funny no, ones. No, There's shut you. your gob means shut your mouth, shut right? Shut your gob, yeah. I love that. Shut your, your gob. This is your gob, right? Yeah. And uh, there's another one in Belfast uh, when they want to say, how are you doing? Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, bout ye. What I is that? Go... That's just a burp. That's not a... <laughs> it is. That's no one that's asking a... you how you're doing. That's a bout ye, big lad. You know, oh, I'm doing very well, thank you. Right. Thank well, you know what's funny is that in this country, people yes. assume that, that the Irish sort of speak like the Lucky Charms elf. Like, oh, how are you doing? They really don't. And it's also, very hard to understand real Irish speak. It's, well, there's lots, like America, there's hundreds of accents. You know? Right, right. But uh, I, I'm also a wee bit peeved when I get, you're from Ireland, right? Yeah. Do you know John Murphy from... Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like Ireland's that size. You right, know? right. It's four and a half million people. Well, I get... Uh, my last name's O'Brien, and they'll say, like, oh, I know, I must know someone who's related to you, because right. I know a guy in Ireland named O'Brien. Yes. <laughs> but the chances are yeah, you there's, probably there's, are That's 4.1 million R. O'Brien is the last name. <laughs> it's just a name anybody can grab off the street and call themselves. Right. And then there's a good one. What is it? You're your, you're your mama's blouse, or no, you're, you're a big oh, you're girl's... You're a big girl's blouse. You're a big yeah. girl's blouse. I know. I got that one all the time. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, what is the derivation of a big girl's blouse? I have no idea. I wore idea. a girl's blouse as a child, so it, <laughs> it made sense to me. It now, goes way back. It goes way back. This, uh, this yeah. film, Kinsey, everybody's talking about this, this film, uh, and I saw it last night uh, and electrified. I really did oh, love thanks. this movie. Thanks, uh, I'm curious, Kinsey... No, you didn't fast forward, no? I didn't... Fa God, no, I didn't. I don't fast forward films through films about sex. I watch them <laughs> very slowly. Because... <laughs> Again and again. Um, because, because it was all about yeah, sex. Well, no, it's yeah. but it's the theme of uh, of the movie, uh, and 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 it, it's really what this man was about. Kinsey is he, he was he was a sex researcher, right? He, right. He um, one of the, really the first one to sort of apply scientific methods to absolutely to to absolutely take away love and emotion and study and 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 write these phenomenal books on right. what we all do behind closed doors and sometimes not behind closed doors. I leave, yeah. And, uh, I leave the door open. Yeah. They, they became huge. Yeah. I'm like, look what I'm doing! Um, it's about, uh, <laughs> well, this raises the question for me, how did you learn about sex growing up? Was, did you have the, did your parents have the talk with you? How did it work? No, it didn't have a talk, but uh, I have to say it was bathroom walls, toilet walls. Right. So, you know. I think that's how we all... Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh that's it. how it works. It. Right. But, Did, because uh, I know that in an, in an, uh, in an Irish family, they, they don't talk about don't these talk things. don't talk about it. And we didn't talk about it at school. Right. 
and uh, I remember when I started seriously courting at the age of 24. You waited till you were 24. Yeah, but 23, 24, going right. to a dance in Belfast and fancying this girl and uh, wondering how I could buy her a lemonade. Right. And, uh, seriously, I'm not, I'm not Was exaggerating. This 1885? Yeah. <laughs> I May I buy you a lemonade? There you go. Because they don't sell alcohol. Yeah. Right? Those are simple, yeah. But, uh, but I know what it's like. I know. No, but Corn, I'll tell you what she said. I have what to tell you, you just yeah. because it's, and it, it's gospel truth. We're dancing away. I thought, I have to ask her, you know, I, you know do you want to come over and some? And eventually she read my thoughts and said, Do you mind sitting down? Your feet are killing me. <laughs> You learn, you learn like, swear, well, it's yeah. also the sarcasm too. They can just me. take you out, yeah. yeah. So you Very weren't confident sarcasm. with, with, with oh, girls? Oh, no, no. Yeah. Still, still I'm not. Still, still, I'm, still I'm not. Oh, come on, you're I Liam. So. He's, this is huge. This is, uh, you know. I would be surprised. Really? No, I wouldn't be. I. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Right I was sure if fame would change things, but no. <laughs> um, now, it's Christmas time. How do you celebrate Christmas in your family? Well, uh, traditionally, my wife's a, a fantastic cook. Mm -hmm. and thankfully, she's on her way back from Shanghai tonight. Mm -hmm. She was making a movie out there, so uh, she should be arriving about midnight. Well, that was <sighs> half an hour ago. Now, <laughs> the... the uh... But very traditionally, I dress up as Santa. I have two little boys, eight and nine years of age. Right. And, uh, I think this year you dress I, up as Santa. Oh yeah, yeah. But it, but I do it kind of quite subtly. It's I'm outside. It's Christmas Eve, about five o'clock, where it's not pitch dark, but it's dark, and I kind of run through the woods. So they just <laughs> they just get a hint of uh, a little hint of redness, you know. <laughs> and that's just my face. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's this strange man running through the woods. That sounds scary. That's an Irish actor. Yeah. Lying <laughs> open, that's not fooling anybody. Um, all right. Well, we have to. Uh, we have to get to this because this this film. So many people are talking about this movie, and oh, yeah. uh, and I, I, I want to discuss uh, Kinsey. We have a clip here, sure. but but we should familiarize people a little bit in case they're not aware what this film is about. Uh, he was uh, a starred scientist. Uh, he was a professor in Indiana University in Bloomington. He was studying gall wasps, which are that size, mm -hmm. for 20 years, and he segued into studying uh, male and female sexuality. And then, and it. and it shocked people at the time because it, nobody had ever talked about these things openly, and let alone write books about it. And, and let alone not use the words like masturbation, penis, vagina, stuff like that. I he think you should go. I really <laughs> think. My wife's fine, yeah. right? I have not matured over all this should've, time. I should have. I can't handle it. Uh, I should have checked with Frank. Can I say these words <laughs> or not? No, no. Yes, you can. You can do whatever you want. Well, we have a clip here from Kinsey. Right. What, what do we need this to know? This is him delivering his first lecture to students about SEX. Yeah, at a time when, uh, you, as you can tell from the clip, this is taking place. I 1938. Believe, yeah, 1938, yeah. and this just wasn't done. Take a look. Stim, you. Lation. Who can tell me which part of the human body can enlarge a hundred times? Um, miss. I'm sure I don't know. And you've no right to ask me such a question in a mixed class. I was referring to the pupil of your eye, young lady. <laughs> and I think I should tell you, you're in for a terrible disappointment. <laughs> It is a fascinating That's a, story. That's a good one. Yeah. Very, very important part of our cultural history, you know? Yeah, and, he's, and, uh, and very brave man. so controversial at the time, even when you're watching the film, because I think one of the things, so many people are used to seeing sex depicted in different movies, but there's something about this that's a lot more arresting because it's taking place at a time when no one talked about it. Absolutely. And, and it's all true. And for all we knew, nobody did it either in those days, you know? <laughs> No, they found another way. Uh, <laughs> Kinsey uh, is in select cities, and uh, this was a real thrill having you on. Always oh, wanted to have you me. on the show. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Yeah. Liam Neeson, Triple H, coming up, we'll take a break. We'll